Hello and welcome back to the war as we said. Today we are going to be talking about what has been going on in Senegal. If you don't know, Senegal has been going on. They have been having their worst nightmare when the president decided to postpone the election for December. And the citizen came out of the street and they protest. They said this has never happened before. This president should not come and change the constitution. So there was a whole lot of protests and the protest is still going on. But I'm going to be playing a video when he make the decision. I don't know what he, what he means by democracy. How can you talk about democracy but then you cut off the internet? So people in Senegal cannot report about the chaos, about everything that is going on in Senegal. And you call yourself democracy. I do not understand. I think that that word democracy has been misused. And I, I don't even think it works for Africans. But anyway, that's a story for another day. That's my own opinion. So let's play this video. Please do not forget to like this video, subscribe, share it to friends and family members. I gladly appreciate it. And do not forget to thumbs it up for the algorithm. Salam alaikum. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next video. President Macky Sall gave his this Thursday his first big interview since he postponed the presidential elections on February 3rd, a decision that plunged Senegal into its worst political crisis in decades and sparked unrest which left four people dead. On national TV, he said April 2nd will be the end of his mandate as president. Let's listen to President Macky Sall. I'm sticking to that and I'm saying it very clearly and very solemnly. On the 2nd of April 2024, my mission ends as the head of Senegal. The rest will see how. As far as the date is concerned, we'll see what the dialogue comes up with. But we'll still have to wait for a new election date. Our correspondent Sam Ratpiece was watching this interview from Dakar. Many people had been expecting the president, Macky Sall, to reveal the date of the presidential poll. But he didn't. He said this could only be revealed after a national dialogue is held. Now, this national dialogue itself uh, will take place on Monday uh, and Tuesday next week, and it will likely bring together presidential candidates and quite possibly members of civil society as well. Uh, if an election isn't held before the official end of Macky Sall's uh, term, which is on April the 2nd, it's unclear at this stage who will replace him. And that's likely something uh, that will be discussed during this national dialogue. The key point, though, as you've already mentioned, is that the president has said solemnly uh, that he will not uh, remain in office after the end of his term on April 2nd. And uh, as we know, there's been a wave of political prisoners released as well. Any new words? And what about Usman Sonko? Did he talk about him? Yes, yeah, so hundreds of political prisoners have been released since last week alone. And during his address uh, on Thursday evening, President Macky Sall said that he was open to granting some kind of amnesty for Usman Sonko uh, in, a bid, in a bid to bring peace uh, to the nation of Senegal, which, remember, uh, since 2021 has seen the deadliest clashes in its history. All of this uh, as part of a kind of long-running political saga, which has essentially pitted the president Macky Sall against Usman Sonko and against other opposition figures as well.